In the realm of science and profound mysteries, the question of what existed before the Big Bang has sparked debates and fascinated thinkers for generations. This enduring curiosity not only challenges our understanding of the universe, but also pushes the boundaries of human knowledge. Imagine standing on the brink of existence, peering into the vast unknown, and contemplating what lay there before our universe was born. The Big Bang marked the beginning of space, time, and everything we know, but was there a moment preceding it? Could there have been a state of nothingness, a serene calm before the cosmic assembly began? If so, was it truly nothing, or something far more unsettling that existed before time itself? As we delve deeper into this question, science takes us on a journey beyond the universe's starting point into realms that challenge our very awareness. Physicist Brian Cox, known for his exploration of the universe's wonders, proposes that something extraordinary might have existed before the Big Bang. He invites us to rethink our understanding of reality and existence. In this exploration, we will examine the science, theories, and captivating mysteries that may shed light on what existed before it all began. We'll delve into concepts like cosmic inflation, quantum fluctuations, dark energy, and even multiverses. The answers we uncover may astonish you, but they could also provide new insights into our place in the cosmos. Prepare to dive deep into a realm beyond imagination and science, where darkness still weaves its shadows, leaving experts awestruck and occasionally perplexed. Let us explore what existed before the Big Bang and why these theories challenge everything we thought we knew. To appreciate what might have existed before the Big Bang, we must first meticulously deconstruct what the Big Bang actually was. Scientists define it as the moment when the universe became incredibly hot and dense, expanding rapidly to initiate the evolution of all matter, energy, and forces. When we observe the night sky, we see evidence of this fiery beginning in galaxies moving outward from an early point. But why did this happen? Moreover, was there a time before this dense, hot origin? According to the theory of cosmic inflation, there was indeed a before, and it was neither empty nor tranquil. Cosmic inflation suggests that prior to the Big Bang, the universe existed in a state that was cold, empty, and diffuse, akin to a vast vacuum. However, this vacuum wasn't entirely empty. It contained a tremendous amount of energy that fueled the rapid expansion of space itself. This expansion, known as inflation, occurred so quickly that it set the stage for everything that followed. Within a fraction of a second, space expanded at unimaginable rates until inflation slowed and the energy transformed into particles and forces, culminating in the Big Bang. But what was the nature of this energy? Why did it suddenly expand the universe? And why did it stop? Scientists believe this cosmic expansion created regions of the universe, each experiencing its own Big Bang. Imagine a fabric stretching infinitely with tiny bubbles forming in various spots, each bubble representing a universe, including our own. This idea, called the inflationary multiverse, suggests there could be countless Big Bangs and an infinite number of universes, our own being just one among many. This staggering reality challenges our comprehension of the cosmos and raises the question, what else is out there? The concept of nothingness before the Big Bang is theoretical, not literal. Even if we stripped away all energy, particles, and radiation, the universe would still not be truly empty. It is filled with dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and other forces that create an intricate fabric even in its most barren state. Even if we imagine removing all these forces, leaving a dead space, the universe would still produce new forms of energy. This reality alone baffles scientists, as it suggests that true nothingness might be impossible within our understanding. Space itself has properties, rules, and constants that prevent it from being completely empty. Imagine creating a region with absolutely nothing, no particles, no radiation, no energy, except for quantum fields and fundamental constants. These would still exist, suggesting that nothingness has properties. 
For instance, a phenomenon called zero-point energy represents the lowest possible energy state of quantum fields. In this state, particles can still momentarily appear and disappear, creating a ghostly echo of activity even in what should be empty space. This challenges our notion of a true void and suggests that, yes, even before the Big Bang, there was something, something scientists are just beginning to understand. One of the most intriguing theories in modern cosmology is the possibility of eternal inflation. If inflation could create our universe, it's conceivable it could continue indefinitely. Brian Cox describes an incredibly vast inflationary multiverse where universes are endlessly created and continue expanding. Imagine each Big Bang as a spark igniting another universe, while inflation continues in other regions, creating countless other universes. This process could, in theory, happen forever. This idea of infinite universes gives rise to a fascinating concept, a fractal universe, where each new universe could create its own Big Bang. Each universe exists as a separate, independent region, unaffected by the others due to the rapid expansion of space. For scientists, this theory is both exciting and unsettling, as it suggests a boundless multiverse with no definitive beginning or end. Imagine our universe being just one small piece of a vast, infinite structure, constantly expanding and perpetually creating new universes. And what if the unsettling truth is this? There is no before or after, but rather a timeless pattern of universes forming and decaying. Our understanding of nothingness changes when we consider quantum field theory. According to this theory, the universe isn't just a collection of matter floating in space. It's a complex network of energy fields that permeate the cosmos, connecting everything we observe. These fields are like invisible oceans, with particles acting as waves or disturbances. Even when fields are at their lowest energy level, known as the vacuum state, they remain active. Particles can appear and disappear in these fields, briefly gaining energy before returning it. This phenomenon results in virtual particles, entities that temporarily exist and then vanish, leaving only a faint trace of their presence. The concept of virtual particles challenges the idea of a true void. Even in an empty universe without matter, radiation, or energy, fields remain active, occasionally producing transient particles. This constant activity in what should be nothing suggests that the universe doesn't recognize our concept of emptiness. The fields and forces persist, filling the universe with hidden energy that prevents absolute nothingness. This understanding raises a fascinating question. If fields create particles and particles create matter, could the universe itself have emerged from this interplay? The interplay of quantum fields and energy at the edge of what we perceive as nothingness fuels profound questions about the origins of the universe. If the universe could emerge from fluctuations within a quantum vacuum, what does this imply about the nature of reality itself? Could these fundamental interactions suggest that universes are not unique events but inevitable outcomes of the laws of physics? Modern physics increasingly suggests that the Big Bang may not have been the absolute beginning. Instead, it might have been a transition, a phase change within a pre-existing framework of energy and space. This leads us to even deeper questions about the origins of the laws that govern our universe. Were these laws in place before the Big Bang? If so, how did they come to exist? The idea of eternal inflation hints at a multiverse where universes are continually spawned from a fabric of space-time that inflates eternally. In this scenario, universes like ours are just one of countless bubbles within an infinitely expanding cosmic sea. Each bubble universe could have its own physical laws, constants, and dimensions. This raises an intriguing possibility. What if some universes are so vastly different that they defy any understanding we might try to impose? This perspective shifts the focus from a singular origin event to an eternal, dynamic process. Rather than searching for the moment of creation, scientists are now exploring the mechanisms that sustain existence itself. This exploration brings together fields like quantum mechanics, string theory, and cosmology 
to uncover the fabric of reality. The role of quantum fluctuations. Quantum fluctuations play a pivotal role in these theories. These are tiny, spontaneous changes in energy that occur even in the absence of matter or radiation. In the quantum vacuum, a state of lowest possible energy, fluctuations are inevitable. Over immense time scales, these fluctuations could provide the spark that leads to the creation of particles, forces, and ultimately, entire universes. In this view, our universe may be the result of one such fluctuation, magnified by the process of cosmic inflation. If true, this implies that universes could emerge anywhere, anytime, provided the conditions are right. It also suggests that nothingness is not an absence, but a fertile ground brimming with potential. A fractal multiverse. The inflationary multiverse theory proposes that our universe is part of a fractal structure where inflation generates countless regions of space, each with its own characteristics. Imagine an infinite, self-replicating fractal where every branch spawns new branches, each representing a universe. This model reshapes our understanding of space and time. If inflation is eternal, then there is no single beginning or end, only an endless chain of events. This idea challenges the notion of causality itself, as each universe may have its own timeline independent of others. For scientists, this raises philosophical questions. Is there a why behind the existence of the multiverse, or is it simply the way reality is? Could there be a deeper principle or a meta-law governing the creation of universes, or is the multiverse a brute fact of existence? Reconciling Science and Philosophy The quest to understand what came before the Big Bang blurs the lines between science and philosophy. Physics provides models and equations, but the implications of these theories often venture into metaphysical territory. Concepts like nothingness, eternity, and infinity are as much philosophical as they are scientific. Physicist and philosopher Carlo Rovelli argues that the nature of time itself may hold the key to understanding the universe's origins. According to Rovelli, time is not an absolute entity, but an emergent property that arises from interactions within the universe. If time as we know it did not exist before the Big Bang, then asking what came before may be a meaningless question. Similarly, theoretical physicist Lee Smolin suggests that the universe may evolve according to principles akin to natural selection. In his Cosmological Natural Selection Hypothesis, universes that are capable of generating black holes might proliferate, as black holes could be gateways to the creation of new universes. This idea connects the formation of universes to an iterative process, where physical constants are fine-tuned over successive generations. The Limits of Human Understanding Despite the remarkable progress of modern science, the question of what existed before the Big Bang remains deeply enigmatic. Our cognitive limitations and reliance on human-centered concepts of time and space may hinder our ability to grasp the full scope of reality. Theories like the multiverse or quantum fluctuations push the boundaries of imagination, yet they also highlight how much remains unknown. As physicist Richard Feynman once remarked, I think nature's imagination is so much greater than man's. She's never going to let us relax. The search for answers to these profound questions may never yield definitive conclusions, but the journey itself expands our understanding of existence. Everything that followed within a fraction of a second. Space stretched at unimaginable rates until inflation slowed, and the energy transformed into particles and forces, culminating in the Big Bang. But what was the nature of this energy? Why did it suddenly expand the universe? And why did it stop? Experts believe this boundless expansion created regions of the universe, each experiencing its own Big Bang. Imagine a fabric stretching infinitely, with tiny bubbles forming in various spots, each bubble representing a universe, including our own. This concept, called the inflationary multiverse, suggests there could be countless Big Bangs and an infinite number of universes, ours being just one among many. This vast, mind-boggling reality challenges our understanding of the universe itself and leaves us with the question, what else is out there? 
The idea of nothingness before the Big Bang is theoretical, not literal. Even if we stripped away all energy, particles, and radiation, the universe would still not be truly empty. It is filled with dark matter, dark energy, quantum fields, and other forces that weave an intricate fabric, even in its most barren state. Even if we imagine removing all these forces, leaving only dead space, the universe would still generate new forms of energy. This reality alone confounds experts, as it suggests that true nothingness might be impossible within our infinite understanding. Space itself has properties, rules, and constants that prevent it from being absolutely empty. Imagine creating a region with literally nothing, no particles, no radiation, and no energy, except quantum fields and fundamental constants. These would still exist, suggesting that this nothingness has properties. For instance, there is a phenomenon called zero-point energy, which represents the lowest possible energy state of quantum fields. In this state, particles can still briefly appear and disappear, creating an eerie echo of activity even in what should be empty space. This challenges our notion of a true void and suggests that, yes, even before the Big Bang, there was something that scientists are only beginning to understand. One of the most intriguing theories in modern cosmology is the possibility of eternal inflation. If inflation could create our universe, it's possible it could continue indefinitely. Brian Cox describes an incredibly vast inflationary multiverse where universes are endlessly created and continue expanding. Imagine each Big Bang as a spark igniting another universe, while inflation continues in other regions, creating countless other universes. This process could, in theory, happen forever. This idea of endless universes gives rise to a fascinating concept of a fractal universe, where each new universe might create its own Big Bang. Each universe exists as a separate, independent domain unaffected by the others due to the rapid expansion of space. For scientists, this theory is both exciting and unsettling, as it suggests an infinite multiverse with no definitive beginning or end. Imagine our universe being just one small part of a gigantic, infinite structure, ever-expanding and constantly creating new universes. And what if the unsettling truth is this? There is no before or after but rather a timeless pattern of universes forming and decaying. Our understanding of nothingness changes when we consider quantum field theory. According to this theory, the universe isn't just a collection of matter floating in space. It's a complex network of energy fields that permeates the cosmos, connecting everything we observe. These fields are like invisible oceans, with particles acting as waves or disturbances. Even when fields are at their lowest energy level, known as the vacuum state, they are still active. Particles can appear and vanish in these fields momentarily, borrowing energy before returning it. This phenomenon results in virtual particles, entities that briefly exist and then disappear, leaving only a faint trace of their presence. The concept of virtual particles challenges the idea of a true void. Even in an empty universe devoid of matter, radiation, and energy, fields would remain active, occasionally producing transient particles. This constant activity in what should be nothing suggests that the universe doesn't recognize our concept of emptiness. The fields and forces persist, filling the universe with hidden energy that prevents absolute nothingness. This understanding raises an intriguing question. If fields create particles and particles create matter, could the universe itself have arisen from this interplay? Could it have emerged from nothingness loaded with quantum fields? Dark energy is another mysterious force. At present, it drives the accelerated expansion of our universe. But did dark energy exist before the Big Bang? Some theories suggest that dark energy, in a much stronger state, might have controlled the inflationary stage, causing rapid expansion. The presence of dark energy implies that, even if the universe were depleted of all matter and radiation, this force would continue to expand the fabric of space-time. This prompts a disturbing question. If dark energy was present before the Big Bang, 
Might it have shaped the conditions that led to the birth of our universe? Could dark energy be the silent architect of inflation, or even the true beginning of our universe?